Okay, so in the sequence of videos I've posted, um, I've been looking at estimating the value of mortgage repayments. In this video, I'd like to set out um, the mortgage, make the mortgage estimation, the monthly repayment estimation, and set this estimation out in a user form. So I go to the developer tab. I go to Visual Studio and I come here to insert and we put in a user form and then I need to recall what the variables are so it's principal TMR okay so let's put that in we're going to have four labels one two three Four, and I have to redimension to make the box to use a form um, more appropriate in terms of size and we can give these names so we said it's principal time maturity and the rate of interest okay Okay, so we need to write the captions as the principal. Okay, so let's highlight the label, come down to the um, properties, so labels, come to caption, and the caption should read uh, principal. And return, and label, the next label we said should have been uh, the time period, I'm going to call it T, and the next label is going to set out the periodicity of the mortgage repayment, so M, and then the final label is the final parameter input for working out the mortgage repayment, and it's just the rate of interest, and I'm going to call that R. So all those labels have updated to reflect that and then I put in place um, the input boxes. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and I just dragged them across by holding down the left button on my mouse. So the left click and the mouse is held down, and then I probably need an output box. Okay, so these are, if you like, text boxes for inputs, and this one's for output, but it's the same text box that I drag across in for each. And um, then I should give each of these a name. And so I need to give them, these text boxes, the same name as what eventually they will become in terms of our formulation. So we call the first text box principal. The sec second box we're going to denote as T, the time period. The third box we're going to change its name to M. The fourth box we're going to change its name to um, very simply R. And the fifth box I'm going to give it a new name and just put in MP MP to denote a uh, mortgage payment okay and um, in addition I want to add a little bit of functionality so I'll put on two command buttons command button one command button two okay so for command button one we'll change the caption to quit Q U I T and then if I double click again try that again double click this button I then can put in a command unload so I'm assigning command here unload uh, the user form and the user form's name is user form one so in other words when I hit this button once it opens in Excel uh, it's the I can quit the user form Okay, so I'll go back into the user form. 
Then I have command um, button two. We could, I suppose, change the caption here. So I'll just say mortgage payment. B A Y M E N T. Um, mortgage payment. Hit return. Okay, mortgage payment. And then, um, okay, we need to give this function a name. So to give assign a macro to this particular uh, command button. Um, okay, uh, let's get some code, which is in module one. And we'll take this. So this is the original code we had for estimate. It's a VBA function for estimating the value of the mortgage repayment. Okay, so I'll just copy that. And I go back into the user form. Double click. You can try that again. Double click. And I'll paste that code in. And I must change this to the name of the text box. So I'm going to call this instead of mortgage payment MP and that MP coincides with the user form's name. So if we come back here and look at the name of the box, it's MP. Okay, so now we go back into um, the spreadsheet and we go into, we'll call it mortgage calculator and we'll put in a button so I'm in the developer tab uh, we need to insert um, try it again the function button assign new macro and this macro um, so it's user form one dot show. Okay. And that should make the user form appear. And let's redimension that user form. Uh, redimension the button and just call it mortgage calculator. Mortgage. I just put Put mortgage, and then we click the button. It appears 120,000. Time period 30 years. 12 monthly payments. Interest rate 5%. Mortgage payment 644.18. Quit, and that's consistent with what we have here. Try it again. Principal 120,000. One, two, three. Now, time period I changed from 30 to 20 years. 12 monthly payments per year. Interest rate of 5%. What's the mortgage payment? 791.94. We'll check that. 700. For the same parameter values, the mortgage payment we worked here as 791, okay, 95. Okay, so that seems to work quite well. And we'll save it. Okay.